I want to show you my version of JK Brickworks Spirograph. So mine's a little different in that instead of having one motor control everything, I have two motors and I can change the speed of both motors. So there's something, something. All right. So I didn't have all the parts that um, were called for in the instructions, which are linked to here. This is really easy to modify for your purposes and what parts you have though. So it's an awesome starting point. So instead of the six by six tiles, I used a whole bunch of two by fours. Uh, in order to, for this to work, because those six by sixes are really rare, I, just, I only have two and that came in the maze. So in order for that to work, I had to add a layer, another layer of, of plates makes this higher which also means you have to raise these higher otherwise they'll bump against the sides but that's okay because your pen is long so it's fine right so when I did this I had to make sure um, you have to make sure that you leave this area around here free um, there should be no plates here I did that at the beginning and then the plates that were here would rub against the edges of these tiles occasionally and cause the whole turntable to slow down and then suddenly speed up again um, which is no good for your drawing. So, what else did I change? I added another motor right there. And I did it by disconnecting this uh, drivetrain of gears. Usually this whole drivetrain ends up driving this worm gear, which then turns the turntable, but then you don't have control over each, uh, the arm and the turntable speeds, so your designs are limited. So, all I did is disconnect it. I took out that gear, I flipped this axle around, flipped it backwards, I put in a longer, uh, technique beam, Technic beam, put in a longer Technic beam so I could fit my other motor. Uh, and now uh, this, this motor is driven independently of this motor. So the motors are both plugged in to infrared receiver. The infrared receiver goes to the battery box. So, and then I have the variable speed controller, which would be essential for this kind of design because you want them to continue going continue spinning and uh, run at different speeds. So the momentary on off controller that's good for RC cars and stuff um, wouldn't be so good. So uh, two different motors controlled independently. Um, so each has their own speed. Yay. So I'll put it all back together again. Other than that, it's exactly the same. Oh, the other thing I did is I reinforced this. It kept falling down. Um, so all I did is add some bricks, add a plate, a Technic plate, and now it's much stronger, it won't fall down. And of course, I, uh, as I said, I raised these. These are higher than they need to be, and they're that way on purpose because it makes it much easier to put the uh, arm on and off. Also, I marked the arm where the, uh, the axles go through with these pins because I got confused several times. So I'm gonna put it on that. So I'm going to put the arm on, um, the one with less spaces goes there, and the one with more spaces goes on the, uh, the driver arm. I'll call this the idler arm. It goes down. So the only trouble with my design is when I start it, it makes a bit of a skip because I guess in a normal spirograph uh, you would start the speed of both the arm and the turntable at the same time and at the whatever preset speed you want but with this controller you have to start at zero and then go up so there's kind of a lurch like for example if I just control this turntable like that um, it goes around you can draw circles and then you can move the arm and make little spirals inside the circle by stopping the arm and then starting the arm again. You can almost make a... Uh, this is not turning out very well. <laughs> I was hoping for like a Nautilus effect, but okay, now the arm's going again.
Likewise, I could um, change the speed of the turntable so it goes backwards. Or I could simply stop the turntable. Now the arm drives on its own. And you can see that it's not super interesting without that turntable going. Doesn't look very good to me. That's a pretty one. Wow. Huh? It's the best one yet, Lewin. What's this 